Hello and welcome back to my awkward Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. It's been real rough, hasn't it? Uh, there were some technical difficulties, but you guys didn't see it this time in the previous, previous, previous in Dali Village slash the uh, cargo ship. We had some technical difficulties, but these I was able to hide better this time. But we are back. And we left Zidane and Freya and Vivi and technically Kina, but she's optional at this point. But we left them at Gizmilky's Grotto, and now we've got Steiner and, um, I guess just Steiner. Maybe he ditched Dagger. Who knows? Let's see what we got for him. Oh. Bronze. The bug. But the level up! Yeah, at least he's on that, at least I'm on that, we could teach him all that stuff, but nah. We'll just leave him like that, but uh, we're at the south gate. What are we doing? Hold it right there. What's the purpose of your visit? I heard workers were needed to fix south gate. I brought my belongings so that I might live and work here. That's great! They've been working on that gate non-stop since the accident, but it's still broken. I need to check your bag. Rules and regulations, you know. Hmm. Well, Steiner didn't, definitely didn't come with that bag when he was with us. He must have done a lot of shopping at Lindblom. Would you step back? There. That's good. Sorry. Just doing our job. Don't apologize. So, where are you from? Blast. I must do something. Why is your underwear in there? The police are searching for a girl and a middle-aged man. Did you see a pair like that on your way here? Oh, Steiner, are you middle-aged? This knot is really tight. The girl supposedly looks exactly like Princess Garnett, the most beautiful princess ever to grace Alexandria Castle. What a description. Like, oh, it looks exactly like Princess Garnett. Not her, but exactly. I got it now. But you know how Queen Bran looks. It's hard to believe that she'd have such a beautiful daughter. Uh, actually that happens all the time. You believe it or not. Mm, what is this? What is that? What are those? Those... Rotten things, are they poison? What? Rotten? I'm not carrying anything that's rotting. Oh, it's your least favorite food. The Lindblom Delicacy, Geisel Pickles. Is that all that's in there? And how did this guy- you're from Lindblom. How do you not recognize these pickles from the get-go? Can't believe how many you brought with you. They are my favorite. I cannot start my day without them. Yeah, sure. People who like them all say that. You can go now. Thank you. Good day. So, Steiner ditched, uh, Dar uh, D Darnet, Garnet, slash Dagger, and replaced her with a bag of pickles. Makes sense. We're inside the gate, princess, you've done it again! Yeah, by me leaving you behind and bringing a bag of pickles! I must find a spot where I won't be seen with my pickles! That alley looks acceptable, but a girl and a man are in the way. Alright. And I'm just like, I have a bag of pickles. Alright, let's check this place out. Jobless Jeff. <sighs> I declared bankruptcy and sold my shop. Ugh. I'm playing a video game. I do not want real world situations to be in the video game, thank you. It was called Altair. We sold magic items. It's just a regular shop now. I want magical items. Alright, how about you? This gate breaks down a lot. Because the hinges don't fit very well. This road leads to the bottom of the mist. No one uses it. So there's no need to fix it, really. So I just polish up the gate and make it look all nice. That takes care of it for a couple months. Hee <laughs> hee. You were the reason we couldn't come in through this gate. Kill, don't kill. We're gonna not kill. I must tolerate him for the sake of the princess and my pickles. How about you? Carpenter hands. Things are strange around here. There are rumors of ghosts. How did Southgate get destroyed anyway? How destroyed could that gate have been? Ooh, treasure! Let me get it! I cannot climb like this. Yes, you can. Put your pickles down just for a second to get the treasure. Put, put, put it down. Fine. Have it your way. Let's talk to this person. 
Ernest, young man. Let's see. I need two of model number three. Oh, you brought your things with you. Are you here to work? I'll answer. Uh, indeed. Welcome. I'm also new here. I've been working here for five months as the chief engineer for Bowden Gate. But he's the only one working under me. <laughs> I'll be going back to the castle next month when my contract expires. I'll be joining a team of engineers who are developing a new engine that runs without mist. The world outside the mist continent is uncharted territory, but there's no need to worry about our safety if we can explore it on an airship. Regent Sid is an advocate of technological advancement. Oh, sorry, I've talked to your ear off. There's something I must tell you. The gate to the bottom of the mist has been left broken? Did he think he could get away with that? Excuse me. Hooray! Justice has been served. Now I just need to get rid of that girl. You know, even though uh, I think that they're supposed to be like... You're supposed to sympathize with this guy, because, you know, he's trying to work real hard. I do sympathize with that guy. You know, I, after or before, during college years and high school years, I was like, yeah, I'll always be super honorable. And then when I'm at work, I'm like, oh, I'll do anything, anything to make this look just shiny and just send it off. And there's just always so much to do. I relate to that, but it's better to be a harder worker at the end of the day. It's easier to be recognized. I can't believe he went out of business. I didn't know because I was on the other side of the mountain. Console her! What good is it to bemoan what has already happened? What I meant to say was that, now that we are here, there must be things we can do to help the ones we love. You're right. I gotta encourage him. Go, Mary, go! Thanks. The ghost is clear. Now it's time for me and my pickles. Hey, hold it on. No! Rules and regulations, you know. Would you come over here? What do you want? I was just supposed to have my special pickle time. Fine. I am coming over there. Stop right there. Don't make a move until I tell you. Oh no. Did I catch me? Now turn toward me slowly. Don't make a false move. Phew. You need a gate pass to reach the South Gate Summit. I'm leaving it right here. Pick it up after I leave. I'd come closer, but you're carrying those stinky pickles. See? I'm leaving it right here. <laughs> it's like a hostage, hostage exchange. Cool, got the gate pass. So yeah, time for pickles! It's pickle pickle time. It's super pickle time. Steiner's time, Steiner's time, Steiner's time, Steiner's time, Steiner time, with his pickles, with his pickles. It's not working out as well as I was hoping. With my mouth. Ahem. <laughs> Tis foolishness. If all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world? Aw, he treats his pickles so kindly. Steiner, is it okay for me to come out? Yes. Thank you. I will come out now. Please come and keep an eye out. Yes. So yeah, since that wasn't obvious. Rustle, rustle. Rustle, rustle. Oh, finally some fresh air. What a horrible smell. It gave me a terrible headache. Maybe I'll get changed while he's on the lookout. Let's see. Continue looking. Oh, I meant to go on the other side. Oh, well, too slow. Reaction games are not my uh, forte. You can turn around now, Steiner. Princess Steiner. Yes. Oh, um, yes, Miss Decker. You have to call me Dagger until we reach Trino. Don't salute me either. Yes, until we reach Trino and find a way back to the castle, I will be careful. Okay, let's go. It's funny, I'm trying really hard to make different voices, but I don't know if it's actually coming through. Wow. It's a horsey! Oh my god, I just realized that. I have never actually looked at that. Freaking dialogue boxes. 
Never thought that that was like a golden, uh, a horse with like armor and a unicorn horn. Nope, never saw it. That cable car will take us to the summit. We're almost there, Steiner. Alexandria is just beyond the summit, right? I managed it without Zidane's help. You never needed him to begin with, Princess. Oh, still calling her Princess. I literally just scolded you. Alright, let's check out the da da daggers equipment. Nothing different there. And really nothing much different there, so I don't really feel like I need to equip there. Ah, there we go. Just in case. Oh, you have the moonstone. Let's see. Yeah. We'll just give you some desert boots for right now. Actually, we won't give you anything. I changed my mind. We'll just stick you with that for now. Come get your goods. Got a potion. Let's talk to you. You got anything? I have a favor to ask, Kupo. I want you to deliver a letter to Nazna. Nazna. Thanks, Kupo. Oh, well, real quick. Just to look at our magnet. So, uh, sad fact. Not fun fact. Sad fact. I've actually never completed, uh, successfully completed the magnet central a letter situation. I've always had to have help. I've always had to go back and fix things. So at this point, you should have, yeah, you should have the Maki to Atla letter and the Grimo to Nazna letter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we should be at. The next time we need to worry about it is with Zidane and Freya and all them. So that should be right where we're at. Cool. Oop, I'm stuck. Oh, can we go back? Oh, I want that treasure though. Come get your goods. Uh, if you wanted to restock up, there's your chance, but I already stocked up. So now we can go over here. Oh, may I see your gate pass? Okay. Yep, that's the one. We can depart right away if you want. Depart. All right then, please go inside. We'll be departing shortly. Cool. Oh, well, apparently we're riding this horse unicorn all the way back to Alexandria. So she didn't decide to go back to Bermissia. She decided to go to Alexandria. Well, I'm really good at controls. Let's sit here. Please wait while I prepare for departure. Check that way, check that way. And that way and that way. And started up. Wait, wait for me. I made it. Thank you for your kind words earlier. No, I thank you. Pickle time for Steiner. Now departing. <sighs> Feel more relaxed now. That is understandable. Our journey from Lindblom was very tough, but it was your white magic that me through the battles against all those monsters. Oh man, the, the dialogue box shaking with the whole thing is like <sighs> your fortitude that got us past the obnoxious Moogles and Joker before us. So it was her. So the, the Moogle was like uh, a pretty girl didn't come through here, but an ugly girl did. <laughs> and finally your idea to use Geisha pickles to get past the Southgate guards. I wonder how they got those pickles, because as far as we know with the game, they were only at Lindblom, so wouldn't you have to turn right around to get some? Unless there was like, they're in the marshes or something. I am thoroughly impressed by your intelligence and courage, Princess. Steiner, you can't call me that. My apologies, I'm just not used to... It's okay, I made lots of mistakes when Zidane taught me how to talk like this. That peasant had no manners whatsoever. I don't notice that difference, that much of a difference in her dialogue. She's like, alrighty, that one time, and then that's it. Although he did have some wit for a bumpkin, but... The way he spoke to you was simply unacceptable. I say good riddance. Aww. And we're back with them. So now we know that Garnet and Steiner slash Dagger, uh, they are heading to Alexandria, not Bernicia. Can you stand up? Don't worry about me. Please protect her. Uh, 
I will protect Venezia. You have my word. Yeah, let's go, Freya. No more water snakes here. But yeah, we're back out on the world. Let's see. Did we accomplish anything in that final battle? I don't think we did. But we did get a nice staff. We got Blizzara. Hell yeah. Oh my god, we're actually pretty close to learning Dragon Killer. Uh, nothing different there. We're gonna learn our ability up soon. Nothing different, nothing different. Oh, you haven't learned that yet. Not a different fork. Cool! Alright. Yeah, okay. Can't help it, I have to check. Well, before we go to Gizamaluki's Grotto, let's check this out. Oh, maybe. Just one second. Let's check out the enemies on this side. Ooh, it's a, a yeti. Kind of looks like a ghost, but it's actually a yeti. Oh man, Zidane's close to his trance. Don't attack at all. Thanks for nothing, game. But yeah, it's a yeti. It's not a ghost. It's a yeti ghost. What a jerk game. Yeah, I don't know how to time these trances. I stopped paying attention to them a long, long time ago. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm just gonna have to steal and just waste it. Freya will probably kill this thing. Oh, you won't. Okay, eat it! I don't think it'll give me anything, but eat it anyway. Face bad. Cool, just checking. I, we did tell Kina that we were gonna have her sample from all over the world, so you gotta find your likes and your dislikes. Alright, so that's one of the new enemies. Let's check this out. The smell of fire. And blood. There must have been a huge battle on the other side of that gate. Oh no. Something smell bad. I get that doing. Thank you. That was smell good. You smell flower. Kina does whatever she feels like doing. I must learn from his ways. I don't think it's intentional, Freya. I agree. I agree. I don't think Kina should be a uh, model. Uh, should not be uh, uh, in any kind of... Uh, What's the word? Respect. Yeah, not a thing for Kina. No, if I had done as I pleased, I would have been... The den while I play good. See what I mean? But still. Let's go. Vermissia is just ahead. Oh, Kina. How specific you are. Hi, pushing. Tent. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Does it say here? Vermissia Arch. I, and this is the north gate versus the south gate, but I don't think, is this the gate that when, uh, before we went to the ice cavern that we encountered? I, I don't think so. It could be. Well, let's move on. So there's that in between, uh, Guizamaluke's Grotto and over there. That is our destination, but real quick, we're gonna go over here. Oh! That's a Sandnado! So yeah, we got a little Sandnado over here, so let's, uh, let's check it out. Who do we got next? Who do we got next? Oh good, I already ate you and I know you taste bad, so ha uh -huh. You don't get to be eaten, you get to die. Great, thanks Kina. Uh with this uh staff from BB, I believe with it he does more ice damage, but I mean there's also 
I'm sure we'll get a fire staff later. Cool. Well, we already faced that guy. Oh yeah, I forgot that I'm supposed to be fast forwarding through the battles that I've already faced and stuff. It's so funny how easily you forget. It's like, I understand now why notes are super important. Okay, who learned what? You guys know I'm not reliable. You already learned that. Alright, we're up to date with that. Was it antimony? No, was that status? You got anything else? No. Okay, well, spirit. Actually, I would like your spirit to stay like that. It, you would be a more useful healer. The sandstorm is just too fierce. Damn, so we can't... We can't get through there. Well, let's go around and see if there's anything else of interest. And more zombies. Guess what? Fast forward. Hooray! Love fast forward. Ooh, level up. Let's see. Yeah, that was the iron helm, which is the best helm. So we can just move on. There's this little crevice here between these mountains. And oh, it is new. Ooh, it's some nymphs. I do recommend meeting up with these ladies. Well, they're so pretty. I love that shade of blue. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought she missed it first. Let's just try fire. Fire is our go-to. Did that work? Let's just try Freya tagging again. Stop silencing me! Don't kiss me! Okay, she did. Alright, we'll try just attacking with uh, Zidane this time. But yeah, I love that shade of blue. It's so pretty. Ooh, she got level 2 fire spell. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's try it now. And if not, what? We'll BB attack? Oof, damn. Alright, BB, you're up. Ooh, seven. Eight. Oops. Oh, no. I pressed the wrong button. There is an, an, an auto battle where you just attack. Uh, unlike other auto battles and other Final Fantasies. Yeah, night. This will be useful for, like, one boss battle that I'm aware of. Um, but yeah, auto battle in this game is, uh, I don't like it. it. It might be useful, like, later in the- oh yeah, I'm silenced. Maybe later in the game, but at this stage, with Z I need Zidane to steal, and you need to make sure not to kill certain enemies with blue magic, and surprise, there's some chocobo tracks, yay! Um, it's just not as worth it. Uh, like Final Fantasy IV, I think, had an amazing auto battle where you could set specific abilities when you hit the auto battle, but not the case here. So let's take a look. So we got that one. Huh. Well, we just went in between two of these, so let's try the Healing Shore. Hmm. There's a beach here, too. Hmm. Looks pretty close. Quah? Quah? Ah, treasure chest. All right, what do we got? Smoke. Oh, okay. Getting sleepy. Wait, who's getting sleepy? Oh, okay. Not me, Choco. Choco's getting sleepy nappy up here. And we are on a tiny planet. Chocobo's Dream World. This is pretty sweet. So, uh, if I ever became a rich person and I had a business venture to ever start up, I would actually want, you know, there's like Disney World and there's like, you 
universal. I don't like going to places like that personally. You know, you go and you there's this food's like triple what you usually pay outside the world. It's like I want chicken nuggets and I can pay them like a dollar fifty at Burger King for like chicken nuggets. But here they're like twenty five dollars for just like ten chicken nuggets. That's my example. You're welcome. But uh, if I had a lot of money and I could create a different business venture, oop, I gotta sneeze. Thank you. Bless me. Um, if I had a lot of money and I was able to make like a, like a Disney world of my own, it would be more of like a video game world. Oh, I gotta sneeze again. Oh my goodness. Um, but if I got to make, uh, my own like universal world, uh, Disney world, I would want to create kind of these little tiny really cool areas from video games and the, this would be one you know you could really easily make a little pond just like the one in front of choco you could have a giant fat chocobo which is that that is the check the, the fat chocobo the chat chocobo fat chocobo and then there are the different colored chocobos it looks like they're kind of they're dancing they're like ballerinas that's totally doable with like cool space all around and find a way to like have like a little mini planet suspended. I don't know. Money, man. But the other place that I had uh, an idea for that would be like a really simple video game place that would really just rip at your nostalgia is uh, from Chrono Trigger, The End of Time. Uh, spoilers, I guess, for that game. But there's a, there's a point in that game because it's a time traveling game where you end up at the end of time. And it's a very simple concept. And I would want it just to be a super dark, like almost like a gymnasium and you just see a light in the middle of the room and there's just, I, I don't know, like a trained therapist like in the middle and if, I don't know, just who, who's an old man and I just, I, I don't know, those are my ideas. Don't steal them. Or do. I would love if that existed somewhere. So just like a video game world. Moving on. Apologies for the rant. Those who come here seek companions and a home. Choco. You seek a quiet life with other chocobos. Am I right? Quit! Wander, we await your return. <gasps> I'm I'm Aqua? Yeah, Aqua. Choco, you now have the ability to cross rivers. You can only get to the lagoon through a beach. The road is long, but you have taken the first step. So we got the aqua chocobo, a dark blue chocobo, a another yellow chocobo, and a red chocobo. Ooh, red chocobo. That is not the correct order, but we're we're light blue now. What does that mean? <gasps> we can walk on water, but not all of it. Just the lighter areas. So at at this point, you have an opportunity, because we got that one, uh, we have the opportunity to do, let's see, yeah, one more, one more chocograph, if you choose to go b -b -b back let's just go ahead and write chocobo all the way back, what did I say, chocobo, choco all the way back. All the way back here. Oop, yeah, there it is. Thanks, Choco. But yeah, Choco will teleport wherever there are tracks like that. So even if he's all the way on the other side of the world, he will still come to you. Now he can't go this way because I didn't I didn't open it up. Oop, I'm stuck. And I'm in a battle. Hooray. And more zombie enemies, so I'm just gonna skip, 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 skip. Fast forward, fast forward. Let's see, we don't have anything different, but we got Dragon Killer learned for you now. We're doing really good with Freya. Not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. Yeah, you're good there. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Just checking. Oops. I don't think. I always forget. Ooh. I missed something. <gasps> Go back. 
Oh no, I knew there was something. I was like, something's gotta be up there. But I didn't check. Oh god. Are you Mr. Cousin Luca Grotto his girlfriend? You're very pretty. Uh, nice. Goody. Let's try a Blizzara with the ice staff. Oh, good. Our random fork stabbing you is now confused. Ooh, nice damage. Oh, yay. Hooray. Fork stabby stabby at somebody else. Uh, watch out for this thing, though. And I think if you uh, eat it, you do get a blue magic from it, but I think we already have it. I forget what it is, though. I'm not willing to look it up! It's not might and it's not enticing. I wish it was might. That'd be pretty cool. Because might increases uh, attack power. Oh dear. I mean, we'll have different ways to increase our attack later. But having like a blue magic that Kina could uh, increase our magic power in the meantime, that'd be pretty cool. We killed Mr. Gomez and the Lord the Grotto's girlfriend. Hooray! I can't believe I missed you! <gasps> I am terrible. Well, there's that. I'm so good at my job. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this now while I have the chance. There! If it was bugging you before, now the final door is open. Hooray! I'm out of bells. Going back over here, because we can get one more chocograph. Hooray! Reminder of death and destruction! Ooh, what am I doing? I meant this. Yeah, we're gonna heal up today real quick. It's funny how differently balanced we are at this point. We got a blue mage and a black mage, but the blue mage has some like defensive spells, but not really much of an attacker at this point. Oh, we can check the marsh as well to see if we've gained any new little, little, little baby froggies. And yeah, baby froggies count. Ooh, can we eat these? They look delicious. Love seafood. Love it. Let's have some. Let's eat it. A clipper. Under the other one, just to make sure. I might accidentally not be able to eat that one. We're eating too weaker. Bubbles! You may be able to learn, like, aqua breath or something from this. But once again, I am just not willing to look it up. Hmm, one and two. That one's dead now. Hmm. All right, Tina, try it out. Random damage. Block Tina attack. It depends on how well she does. Nope, she killed it. Oh well. You could have had some weird clipper crab thing, but you yeah, killed it. Like your fork was literally in it. You could have, you couldn't just like open wide and go home. No. Wow, that was fast. Thanks, game. But oh well. Maybe some more crabs. Maybe we'll get to eat one this time. Nope, dragons. All right. But, uh, oh, I guess I could look up real quick if he's impact Freya's final ability or something. Oh, I'm too slow. Let's do Blizzara! Oh, yeah, I'm in the back row. Alright, let's do this. Oh, damn, I forgot to look up what they're called. <laughs> Let's see. I'll just look up Blue Magic. Ooh, there's ability up. Alright, now we're gonna switch 
to pr the protect ring for Freya. So let's remove it off of Kina. Yeah, we'll just give you Melina. Yeah. Not that long reach is like huge for Freya, but still. I guess we'll equip Millionaire and High Tide. Let's check this out real quick. Mm, and I don't know the formula with the frogs, but uh, after a certain amount of game time passes, the frogs may have had some babies. It looks like we got a few babies and they count. Did they could I cut frog? Yeah, well, it will just hurt a little while. Egg. Alright, let's get the little babies. Uh, when you have the end, so, okay, so I know in my last version, I didn't have a gold frog in here last time, but uh, when I had to go back real quick, oh, there's the mama and the papa, I'm assuming. Um, when I had to go back, it just so happened to spawn a golden frog. So if you if you let the golden frog stay, uh, it it uh, it uh what are you? Yeah, you're female. You know. It it helps that spawn rate. Um, I think one more and you get another reward, but I'm not too concerned. I'll just leave Mama and Papa here. And they got two more little pat tadpoles, but you cannot you cannot obtain. It's only the baby frogs, but. Yeah, we'll catch more later. I'm done catching. Alright, and let's leave real quick. Thank you for the arrow. No, I don't know you. I don't care. Yeah, blah blah blah. I don't think we'll ever see those two muggles again. Other than in the marshes. We have learned everything we can as far as I know. Alright, there's a joke about tracks. Let's get that last oops treasure. Alright. Thank you for transporting, Joko. Alright, I forget if it's on this side or where, but we'll experiment. Yeah, no, not over here. But it said, what was the hint for this? So many, many. There are so many small islands surrounding the Miss Continent, though. Try changing your point of view with RT. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try over here. I see that we have little islands with the map. Oh, nope, that's not an option. I guess this is our one option for the beach. You know what? I actually don't think it's over there. I think it's across the way here. As a matter of fact, if you look at the little options, options. The part of the map with the, the little shadows for the, the islands. I don't know. It looks like we got something right over here. Is that our last option for a beach? No, I don't. Here's one more. Let's try over here. Could be totally wrong. No, oh, looks like I may have been wrong. Yeah. Alright. Let's let's un RT and just go back here. I think I can see it from this perspective. Let's try this way. Hmm. So it wasn't the farthest beach. Expert, you cannot judge me at all. Hmm. There's another island, like just right there, it looks like. Maybe that one's it. Certainly, no, this isn't the shape. 
that's not the shape. Let's go back around. Oh, if I know my way. Oh dear. I have turned myself around. Uh, can I go? Nah, I'm not gonna go that way. Alright, let's try right over here. Should have just started right from the beginning, probably. Let's see. Hmm, we got a little beach here. Ooh, my brain is failing me. I just found this one, too. Ha! Ah. Now I'm beginning to doubt myself. <laughs> Not doubt myself. I may skip through this just to be like, whoopsie. I mean, there are other options for the Miss Continent, but I'm pretty sure it's like right here. Oh, I can go even farther out. Damn. Oh, that looks kind of hopeful. That looks kind of hopeful. <gasps> oh. oh, yay. Let's see. It's more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there it is. Oh, I should have gone with my... I, I started going left first, and I was like, no, it's on the other side. Whoopsie. Okay, we got eight potion, four phoenix down, three ethers, and one magician robe. Kill you. Cool. Well, that only took too long. Way too long. Now I have to find my way back. Ah! I swear, this chocobo, uh, this chocobo form of being able to walk through the streams, not my favorite. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've gotten lost in the in the water because I've been like how do I get out of here? All right. So that is our side questing for now. We can continue with the game from here on out till the end of technically disc one. Until next time. <laughs>